Hi everyone. Today we'll be taking a look at a Best Island Hood model number IPB9IQT48SB. Um, this is a very large hood. Um, for filming purposes, I have it just leaning on a table. And what we're going to take a look at today is how to change the user interface on top of this unit and how to get into this upper section where the calibration button is or how to change the lights. First thing you want to do is always make sure that the power is turned off anytime you're cleaning the inside of the hood or, or servicing the unit. First thing you do to get up into changing this is to remove the filters and I'm going to go ahead you can grab the filters. Um, there's actually springs in the front and back on this unit, so you can push either way and they'll pop right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. All right. To get this removed, there's a few screws that you're gonna have to remove. The first screw we're going to remove is there's one on the left and one all the way to the right. We're going to remove those screws and then we're going to remove four more screws and it'll be this one, this one, this one, and this one. And after those uh, six screws are removed, that whole panel will come down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start removing the screws. Move the one on the right. And two more. Magnetic screwdriver helps. All right, we got all six screws removed. This plate the stainless steel plate in the back will slip over this grate. So you're going to lift up on it and you're just going to kind of pop it out. Just like so. This whole panel will come down. I'm just going to flip it down. I'll let it rest on the harness. Now this unit is all open that you can get at the lights. Um, they're all quick connects calibration button is right here everything is replaceable the switch assembly is right here if you take these two screws out and they're Phillips head screws the whole switch assembly will come down this is a ribbon cable um, there's some screws on top of the switch once this is down you just undo it again this would be a quick connect so everything is serviceable if you wanted to get at these lights or the socket failed on the other side, you would do the same thing. You would remove the six screws on that side. So one on the left, one on the right, and then four. Actually, this one's got five right here. And that's all it is. So pretty simple. I hope this video helps. Thanks.